Desk. A week and a half ago, we brought you the story of Gonzaga basketball player Jeremy Eaton and his battle with stage four rectal cancer. Well, tonight our Brenna Green is revisiting this story from a different vantage point. Jeremy Eaton's GoFundMe now has over $55,000 in it, due to, in part, the Gonzaga community rising up in support of him. Several of the people who rose up in support were also Jeremy's former teammates. I sat down with four members of Jeremy's 1999 Gonzaga squad that made that historic run to the Elite Eight to get their perspective on their friend going through such a serious situation. It's just disbelief. We're all reeling right now. It's a gut punch. But if there's anyone who can take a gut punch, according to his teammates, it's Jeremy Eaton. He's a surly, tough competitor. And so if anyone's going to be able to make it through this, it's him. There's nobody more stubborn with more of a winning mentality than Jeremy Eaton. Like he's already taken himself from Benton City to the heights of college basketball. Jeremy's just gonna bring that mentality to this battle now. The heights he reached in his early 20s are still paying off today, as Jeremy now has more than $55,000 donated to him through GoFundMe, some of which came from people who didn't even know of Gonzaga before his team's Elite Eight run. The Gonzaga community is, is, a, is a feeling, and then with something like this, you get to see it put into action. And there's just something so magical about Gonzaga and so magical about Spokane. And of course they rallied for Jeremy like this. This thing that we call Gonzaga basketball connects us all. Uh, and so when you're connected in that way, um, it's like a no brainer, like of course I help. Like I have, you know, the people that have the ability to help, help. And that's just the way it is. And you don't even, you don't even really think twice about it. Several of his former teammates have donated as well. And a few have recommended doctors for Jeremy to see. A lot has changed since the group made history for Gonzaga, but one thing that hasn't, his fight is their fight. Everybody on that team has such a winning mentality. They're all putting that into, into play of how Jeremy is going to beat this. Everyone's just rallying around Jeremy just to be like, okay, what can we do? You know, where's teammate? This is what we practice for the last 20 something years is when your teammate needs something, you're there for him. Even perhaps if that surly, stubborn competitor isn't so good at asking for it. Jeremy's one of those guys that could be mad at you for like feeling bad for him. You know, he, he's just, he, he never wanted sympathy. He's never asked for anything. That's the hard part of even answering your questions. You're like, I don't know, what am I doing? Like lovey-dovey with Jeremy Eaton? Like it doesn't feel right. Just want to make sure he knows we love him and support him. And you know, we're not going to let him off the hook when, the when it's time to roast him. The good news is, is that it appears Jeremy's body reacted well to the first round of chemo. In a Facebook post, he said he told his doctor, then let's up the chemo dose, to which his doctor responded, we're already giving you the maximum amount. You truly cannot stop Jeremy's competitive spirit. That's it for sports.